Hey guys, King Nerf here, and I'm back with a review or with an unboxing and review of the Nerf Elite Stockade. So the stockade, from what I can see in the box, it, obviously it's exclusive to Walmart. This version, and yeah, so on the front of the box, it's open. You got the actual blaster there itself. You've got a stock. And I don't know if you can see those, but some darts, some elite darts down there. From what it looks like, they look to be J darts. So, yeah. And then on the top, we've got Nerf logo right here. The elite logo, stockade. And then a guy with the blaster. Um, on the side, got the same thing. On the other side... It's a nice little diagram of the bl or not a diagram, picture of the blaster, Nerf logo, and then Elite Darts, which is what it comes with and is best with. And then moving on to the back here, we've got a nice diagram of the box with the Nerf logo, the N Strike Elite logo, um, diagram with the saying like tactical rail, uh, removable stock, um, fits 10 Elite Darts. And rapid fire blasting, and yeah, so now let's get into the unboxing. So, I guess that opens up, and then pull the blaster right out. <laughs> So, I'm going to start working on some of these uh, twist ties, I guess, but they're not really twist ties. It's kind of weird, they're in like cardboard inserts. So once you undo all of this stuff, the blaster and the stock should just slip right out. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping there's no, that, that there's not going to be any other stuff that I need to undo. So flipping it over here, we've got the blaster out of the box. Seems pretty nice. Uh oh. That's not good. Alright. So we've got the stock out of the box. Pretty. Seems like it would be pretty comfortable. I mean, my shoulders are pretty big. They're bigger than most nerfers' shoulders. And these are actually pretty. This is pretty comfortable. And the gun seems nice. It's got a nice iron sight. And then we've got the darts. It comes with kind of elite darts. These should just rip right out. Maybe I have to do something like that. Oh, yeah, I do. Alright, so I push those tabs in, I guess. And then the elite darts should come right out. And it comes with 10. So, yeah. Here's the stockade in all of its glory. And I'll be right back with the review segment. Alright guys, so I've had a chance to play around a little bit with the stockade. I've put batteries in it. And one thing that I noticed right off the bat is that it is really quiet. Like, listen to that. I don't know if that sounds loud on camera, but the voice that I'm talking in right now is like a normal inside voice, I guess you could call it. And one thing that I've noticed, it's very similar to the Strife, if you know what a Strife is. So, um, something that I don't really like about the blaster is that Sometimes when I'm trying to fire off really, really fast and trying to go for a high rate of fire, 
um, the barrel, or the, uh, revolver part of it will actually get, like, caught, and it won't rotate in time, so it ends up getting jammed, so that, that's definitely something that I don't like about it, um, but I think my favorite thing about this blaster is probably the stock. What's nice about the stock is that it's really comfortable. Um, it's actually similar to a uh, retaliator stock in the way that it goes down. And it also stores 10 darts, which is nice. So in theory, you could have 20 darts in or on your blaster at one time. So one thing that I did notice that... I is that's a little bit different is that the paint job actually could be a lot better if you can I don't think you can see that but there are some little paint uh, drippings on the blue part above where it says stockade and that brings me to another point um, it says stockade in white paint over here it also says stockade over here but it's not painted so, that's just one thing. Um, getting on more to the uh, functioning, the blaster takes three AAA batteries, or three AA batteries, sorry. They go right there. And, yeah. Um, so, to turn the blaster on, you flip this little switch to the on position, and then it starts revving, and then you can shoot. So, yeah. Um, a thing that I've seen that it's kind of the same on a lot of other Elite Blasters, there's that jam door indicator. When it's green, it indicates it's closed, and then when it's, I guess, orange, it indicates that it's open. I don't really think that they needed to throw that in there, because I'm pretty sure that people would be able to tell when the jam door is closed and when it's open. Um, this blaster does not take barrel attachments, which is, uh, it's not great, but I don't really think that you would need a barrel attachment on a revolver, I guess you could call it almost. So, moving on to, like, the body of the blaster, it's actually really wide, or, yeah, really wide, for how uh, long it is, so it's it's a lot thicker than the strife, but the strife is really really thin. So yeah, that pretty much wraps it up. So would I recommend this blaster? Definitely. Um, I think that it does have a lot of mod potential, but the one thing that I don't like is that it has like an on and off switch instead of an actual rev trigger down here where most of the other flywheel blasters have um, rev triggers so yeah and if you're wondering why the background looks different and why I'm outside I'm actually not at my house right now I'm at my grandparents house so yeah uh, long story short the stockade it's a great blaster and I would definitely recommend getting it so as always um, hit that red subscribe button and keep it tuned right here to King Nerf for more great content see you guys later bye